Hello everybody. In this video session, we will begin our study of the utilization of the BGT in the design of amplifiers. Now, usually in amplifiers of BGTs, you have two sources, actually more than two sources. What I meant is a mix of sources, AC and DC sources. Now, usually AC is represented with a circular, circular, circular source and the DC source is represented with the default horizontal lines or in with an arrow. So those two are DC and this is an AC because it's a, in a circular shape. Now, how do we analyze an amplifier? There are several steps that you have to follow. The first step is that you have to kill AC and keep DC. How do we kill AC? We kill a source by voltage source by making it a short circuit. So here I have redrawn the circuit, but my, but I have removed the AC source. Okay. The next step is to calculate V output. Where's V output? V output is always on the collector terminal. Okay. So V output is always equal to VC. Now, in order to solve for transistor for V output, sorry, we are always in the active mode. So there's no need to check and there's no need to assume active. We are always in active. So we have we can use the following equations, the ones that we used already in the previous, uh, that I showed you in the previous video. Okay. After you find V output, the next step is to calculate GM, R pi or R E. GM is calculated by IC divided by VT, which is the thermal voltage. This this is the thermal voltage, which is equal to 25 millivolt. R pi is beta divided by GM. GM is the transconductance. And RE is alpha over GM. Okay. Now, next step is to kill DC and keep AC. So now you have to kill both DCs. We used to have two DC sources. Now we have to kill them and we have to return back the AC source. So after doing that, the fifth step is to replace the transistor with either Pi model or T model according to the question. What is Pi and what is T model? I will tell you in a moment. The last step is to find the requirements given in the question. Now, there are two pi models and there are two T models. This pi model is for BCCS and there's a pi model for CCCS. Okay? And the same thing applies for T model for VCCS and for CCCS. The question will specify exactly which model to use. Okay, so you have to memorize these models. Those are the four models. Okay. Let's solve this question. So how do we differentiate between a normal, amp, uh, normal transistor or with an amplifier? First, the question will say, analyze the amplifier transistor. Second, it's obvious that there's an AC. Whenever you see an AC source, this means we are in amplifier. So the first thing, as we said, is to kill AC and keep DC, okay? So here we have a DC source. This is an AC source. This is a DC source. So the circuit will be like this. It will be here 10 volt, three kilo, 100 kilo ohm. The AC source will be killed, DC source, 3 volt and this is grounded. Second step is to calculate V output. V output is at the collector. So this is V output. How do we find V output? We said that we are always in the active mode. Usually, how do we start? We start with VBE, right? 
VBE equal to 0 0.7. Then we open VBE. VB minus VE. 0 0.7. VB is 3. Sorry, it's not 3, right? Because there's a source here. Uh, there's a resistor. This is VB. This is VE. So VE is what? VE is. This is NPN, by the way. VE is 0 and VB is unknown. So VB is equal to 0 0.7 volt. After finding VB, you can find IB through Ohm's law. IB. So 3 minus VB over 100K. VB or IB is equal to 3 minus 0 0.7 divided by 100K, which will give us... 23 microampere Okay, after finding IB now it's time to find IC through beta IB Beta was given in the question to be 100 So it's 100 multiplied by 23 micro which will give us 2.3 milliampere The last step is to find V output. How do you find V output through Ohm's law? So IC is equal to 10 minus VO divided by 3K. V output is equal to 3.1 volt after doing the calculation. Great. What's the next step? Next step is to calculate GM. R by R E. Okay. What's GM? The equation of GM is IC divided by VT. What's IC? IC is equal to 2.3 milli. So it will be 2.3 milli divided by 25 milli. This will give us. 92 milliampere divided by volt for r pi it's equal to beta over gm beta is equal to 100 divided by 92 milli which will give us 1087 ohm okay re is equal to alpha over gm and alpha is equal to 0 0.99 divided by 92 milli and this will give us 10.8 ohm great the fourth step is to kill DC and keep AC now you have to go to the original circuit okay and then kill DC keep AC you should not go to the first circuit that you have drawn because if you kill DC now, you, you do not have neither DC nor AC. So going back to this, if we kill DC and keep AC, the circuit will look like this. This is grounded. Let's draw it in blue. Okay. 3 kilo ohm. Grounded. And this is 100 kilo ohm with a source VI. Okay. Awesome. Now, the fifth step is to replace transistor with either pi model or T model. But the question asked us to use pi model bccs pi model vccs where's the pi model vccs that's the pi model vccs right so what are what we we are going to do is we're going to copy it in your case you have to redraw it okay first paste it and then you have to add the missing parts. For example, here, this is the collector. 
this is emitter and this is base at the base what's missing so what you're doing actually you're removing this and placing this instead okay now at the emitter at the emitter we have let's pick brown at the emitter we have a ground okay so here we're going to plug in the ground at the collector we have a resistance and then ground so here we have a resistance and then ground i always recommend you to put the resistance downwards like do not do not do it this way this will confuse you okay especially when putting the polarities of the output so the output should be in this manner anyhow for b for the base we have 100 kilo ohm resistor and a source vi okay now what's the last step the last step is to find the requirements what are the requirements or what is the requirement it's only v output divided by v input so we need to find v output divided by v input now if you look at this circuit it's very similar to the first chapter that we took the amplifier when we took the four types of amplifiers the voltage amplifier the current amplifier the transconductance and trans resistance so at that time what did i say i say i said that it's better and easier for you to start from the numerator so here we have to start from v output and keep working to reach the denominator which is vi so now we need an equation that relates V output with VI. Now it seems that VI is in one side of the circuit and V output is in the other side. There are no direct relationship. But the only relationship between both of them is the VBE because VBE is available on the two sides of the circuit. So first I'm going to find relationship between VO and VBE. Now VO, we have to do Ohm's law. This is IC, right? This is the direction of IC. So I'm going to say that VO is minus IC 3K. Now you might wonder, why is it minus? Because here, I is in the direction. It, it was inputted in the direction of the minus. So it will always be minus, by the way. Just remember that always it has to be minus. Okay? Then IC is equal to what? It's actually equal to GM VBE because this is a current and this is a current source. They are equal. And now what is VBE? VBE is a voltage division, right? So it will be VI multiplied by R pi divided by R pi plus 100K. What we're going to do now, I'm going to take all of this and plug it into VBE. So this will result in GM VI R pi over R pi plus 100K. And I'll do the same thing again. I will take this entire thing and plug it into IC. This will result in V output equal to minus GM VI R pi over R pi plus 100K. And don't forget the 3k okay so now what's the output over v input it is minus gm r pi over r pi plus 100k multiplied by multiplied by 3k if you if you plug in now numbers gm is 92 milli Okay, minus 92 milli multiplied by R pi. R pi is um, 1087 divided by 1087 plus 100k. And then you have to multiply by 3k. If you plug in this into the calculator, you will get minus 2.97 volt over volt. Okay. Great, we're done with the first question. Let's move on. This is the second question. 
it says beta is 100 we need to use t model cccs and we need to find vo over v input now note here you need to be careful we have a capacitor now a capacitor when you're doing the ac analysis meaning you have killed dc and you have killed uh, kept ac then the capacitor will become a short circuit so capacitor in ac becomes short circuit but when you are analyzing dc meaning you have kept dc you have to convert the capacitor to open circuit let's start so what's the first step kill ac keep dc so we have to kill this as it's ac this is dc it has to be it has to stay and the capacitor in this analysis will become open circuit so the circuit will be like this 10 volt 10 kilo ohm sorry this should this should become open circuit right so that's the arrow grounded and this is grounded also okay now next step is to calculate v o v o is always on the collector terminal which is here this is v e and this is p n p right and that's our base great now where do we start? We have to start with the 0 0.7. It will be VEB equal to 0 0.7. And then you will open it. VE minus 0 equal to 0 0.7. Hence, VE is 0 0.7 volt. Then, we will say that IE Ohm's law 10 minus VE over 10K. 10 minus 0 0.7 over 10k which will give us 0 0.93 milliampere okay then ic is equal to alpha ie we know that beta is 100 hence alpha is 0 0.99 so here it's 0 0.99 multiplied by 0 0.93 milli you will get 0 0.921 milli ampere now how do we get now v output through ohm's law we will say that ic is equal to vo minus minus 10 there's a minus 10 here yeah i forgot it minus 10 okay so v naught minus minus 10 Ala divided by 5k so what's the output now the output is equal to 5k multiplied by 0 0.921 milli minus 10 which is equal to minus 5.4 volt next step is to calculate gm R pi and R e gm is equal to ic divided by vt R pi is equal to beta over gm and R e is equal to alpha over gm ic is what ic is 0 0.92 one milli divided by 25 milli which will result in 36 36.8 milli ampere over volt now for r pi it's 100 divided by 36.8 milli and it will give you 2.71 kilo ohm 
for RE 0.99 divided by 36.8 milli and this will give us 26.9 ohm okay step number four is to kill DC keep AC let's see the original circuit so we have to remove the DC and keep AC the capacitor will become short circuit okay so it will be like this grounded Ten kilo ohm. Then we have the transistor. It's on the opposite side. Five kilo ohm, grounded, and here we have a voltage source V I. Okay. Let's compare to this. Yes, it's the same thing okay what's the fifth step fifth step is to replace transistor with the question asked us to replace it with t model cccs t model cccs okay so let's go copy it t model cccs T model CCCS, it's here. Copy. Let's copy paste it. Okay. Now we need to fill the missing parts at the emitter, base, and collector base is simple it's grounded emitter we have two things a voltage source and a resistance in parallel so we have a voltage source vi grounded and then we have a resistance 10 kilo and it's grounded again for the collector we have only one resistance and it's what 5k and as i recommended to you always put the resistance facing downwards this way you will never do a mistake okay the output is always on the collector. Now, the sixth step is to find V0 over VI, right? Yes. V output over V input. So, where should we start? We should start from the numerator, which is V output. So, V output is always, as we said, it's minus ICRC. Minus ICRC. IC is equal to alpha IE and IE is here. We need to find the relationship between IE and V input. Now we have to do Ohm's law. IE is this point minus this point divided by RE. So IE is equal to 0 minus VI because this point is VI divided by RE. So I'm going to take this entire thing and plugging it in ie so you will end up with alpha minus vi divided by re and then you have to take this entire thing and plug it in ic so you will end up with minus alpha minus vi over re rc so v output divided by v input is equal to alpha r c over r e what's alpha alpha is 0 0.99 r c is 5k and r e is 26.9 ohm this will give us 184 volt over volt okay moving on here the question says that beta is very high 
What does beta very high mean? It means that it is equal to infinity. There's nothing higher than infinity. We need to use pi model VCCS and then we have to find V output over V input. Note that in this question you have a voltage, uh, sorry, current source. This current source is AC, uh, sorry, it's DC. So in DC analysis, you should not play with it. However, in AC, you have to kill it. How do we kill a current source using open circuit? And uh, a voltage source, it becomes what? Short circuit, okay? Now, what's the first step? Kill AC, keep DC. So, I forgot to put a number for this resistor. It's equal to 7.5 kilo ohm. Okay, so here you have a 7.5 kilo ohm. Sorry, we have a 5 volt, then 7.5 kilo ohm. Then you have this transistor. We will not play with the current source. 0.5 milliampere. The capacitor will be open circuit because we are in DC and that set. Okay. Step number two. Step number two is to find, calculate the output. The output is at the collector and this is IE okay this is ic now we know that ie is equal to 0 0.5 milliampere because there's a current source there what's ic ic is equal to alpha ie okay now alpha depends on beta and beta is infinity how can we find how can we find alpha? Now, we know that alpha is equal to beta over beta plus 1. Alpha is, uh, sorry, beta is infinity. Infinity over infinity plus 1 is infinity divided by infinity. They cancel each other out, so it's 1. Okay? There's another way to figure out what's, what's the relationship between IE and IC by doing the following. Now we know that IC is equal to beta I B and we know that IC is equal to alpha I E, right? So beta I B is equal to alpha I E. Beta I B is equal to beta over beta plus one I E. Beta and beta, they cancel each other out. So you're left with I B over equal to I E divided by beta plus one. So it's IE over infinity, which is equal to zero. And then we have IE equal to IC plus IB. So it will be equal to IC plus zero. So IE will equal to IC, which is the same thing because here we said alpha is one, right? We said here alpha is one. So one multiplied by IE is what? IC equal to IE. This is much easier. Anyhow, so it's equal to 0 0.5 milliampere. After we have found IC, we can find VC through Ohm's law. You will say that IC is equal to 5 minus V naught over 7.5K. So V naught in this case will be 1.25 volt. Okay. Next step is to calculate GM, R pi, and R E. GM is equal to what? IC over VT. IC is 0 0.5 milli and VT is 25 milli. This is equal to 20 milli ampere over volt. Now we do not have to calculate R pi and R E always. Actually, it depends on the model. If you're finding pi model, then you need, look here. 
if you're finding pi model you need r pi but if you see r pi but if you're finding t model then you need what r e okay so because here we're finding we're using pi model you can save time and just calculate r pi there's no need to find r e so r pi is beta over gm which is infinity over 20 milli which is equal to infinity infinity resistance anyhow next kill dc and keep ac we need to go back to the original circuit kill dc this is dc and keep ac remember that the current source has to become open circuit so the circuit will be like this grounded 7.5 kilo ohm this is the ac source this is grounded okay fifth step is to replace transistor with pi model right because the question asked us to find to use pi model vccs so it will be pi model vccs okay let's go back and copy the pi model vccs okay so here this is the emitter this is base and this is the collector at the collector we have a resistance with value of 7.5 kilo ohm and at the emitter we have a voltage source vi and at the base we have a ground okay now what's the value of r pi r pi is actually infinity so what you have to do is make r pi an open circuit so if you redraw the circuit it will be like this c gm vbe this is e i e this is i b this is i c okay so here we have a resistance 7.5 kilo ohm this is a voltage source vi and this is vbe right and this is grounded so now we need to find the requirements which is find vo over vi let's start with vo vo is at the collector so we have to say that vo is minus ic 7.5 k ic is equal to gm vbe vbe is equal to vbe plus minus vbe minus what's the voltage at this point it's zero what's the voltage at this point it's vi right because this is vi so the answer is minus vi plugging the value of vbe which is minus vi Then taking this entire thing into IC, you will end up having minus GM minus VI 7.5 K. So V out divided by V input is my plus GM multiplied by 7.5 K. That's it. GM, we said it's 20 milli. So it will be 20 milli multiplied by 7.5 K, which will result in 100 50 volt over volt that's the answer i hope it's clear i know it's a very lengthy process but it's easy moving on the 
beta is equal to 200 we need to use pi model vccs we need to find three things three things rn rib let me label where's rn this is rn this is rib okay i will explain them later now what's the first step kill ac keep dc this is dc this is dc dc okay and this is ac now we need to kill ac and keep dc so the circuit will look like this we have a 5 volt here current source of 10 milliampere 100 ohm Ten kilo ohm, one point five volt. The capacitors will become open circuit. So that's our circuit so far. Step number two is to calculate V O. Okay. Now this is the emitter V E, and this is I E. So I E is equal to what? It's equal to ten milli ampere. What's IC? IC is alpha IE. Alpha can be calculated from beta. So it will be alpha equal to 200 over 201, which is equal to 0 0.99. Uh, let's see, where's alpha? Let's keep it 200 over 201. I don't have the, the number right now. Okay. So it will be 200 divided by 201 multiplied by IE, which is 10 milli. This will result in 9.95 milliampere. Then we need to do what? This is V naught. We need to do Ohm's law. So IC is equal to V naught minus 0 over 100. So V naught is equal to 0 0.995 volt we're done with the second step let's go to the third step it says calculate gm r pi and r e but because we're using pi model i'm going to stick to r pi only gm is ic over vt which is 9.95 milli divided by 25 milli which is equal to 0 0.398 a over b so r pi is now equal to 200 divided by 0 0.398 and this will give you 503 ohm great fourth step kill DC keep AC so now we have to remove all the DCs and we have to keep all the ACs this current source will become open circuit the capacitors will become short circuit these sources we will kill them and we will keep the VSIG okay so the circuit will look like this ground One hundred ohm ten kilo ohm grounded and this will become one kilo ohm. This is V sig. Okay. Now probably it looks weird, but let's see what happened. Now when we you when you kill the current source this entire thing disappeared and this capacitor became short circuit 
so you ended up with a short circuit and uh, connect to the emit to the emitter part yes okay this stayed the same nothing changed for this I have killed the source and I have sh uh, uh, reversed it I have reflected the resistance downwards because I always like to put the resistance facing downwards especially that there's no source and this capacitor became short circuit okay let's move on now we have two labels we have rn before the 10k and we have rib after the 10k so here we have a rib rib and we have rn facing this way what's step number five step number five is to replace replace transistor with either pi or t and he wants pi model vccs pi model vccs let's go copy it pi model vccs okay copy paste it now this is the emitter and it's connected to ground this is the collector and it's connected to 100 ohm grounded and the base is connected to this entire thing okay so we have a resistance 10 kilo grounded you have here one kilo which is the vsig and then you have the vsig source okay you have two labels r n facing this way and r i b the question says that you need to find rn rib and vo over vsig let's start with the resistors the resistors are easier how do you find the resistors what you do is you start from the starting point you keep moving as soon as you find a resistance you take it and you put it in your pocket and then you continue continue once you reach the ground you stop then you look in your pocket what's the total resistance available so far it's r pi right so r i b is equivalent to r pi so you can think of it as you're taking the entire all resistors that are facing you from the starting point to the ground so r i b is r pi which is equal to 503 okay let's see r n what's r n we have to start from here okay then current splits into two directions from the downward direction you will find a resistance 10 kilo ohm and then a ground so you have now one resistance in your pocket 10 kilo ohm then you have to continue normally and you will see there's an r pi and then the ground so now in your pocket there are two resistors 10 kilo ohm and r pi what's the relationship between them they are in parallel so it's 10k parallel with r pi 10k parallel with 503 and this will give you 400 478 478 ohm okay we're done with our the resistors let's start doing v output over v sig so where do we start we start from the numerator six find r n r i b and v o over v sig okay so let's start with v output v output is equal to minus i c r c as we agreed i c is equal to g m v b e v b e is equal to what it's e now we usually do voltage division right 
we can do voltage division here but this resistance is ruining it so what we can do is we will combine these two resistors together so it becomes one resistor let's call it rx and then we can do voltage division right because we have rx 1k and the vsig so vbe is equal to what it's equal to vsig multiplied by rx over rx plus 1k what's rx rx is 10k parallel with 503 yes with it's 10k with uh, r pi which is exactly like rn which is equal to 478 ohm okay so here it's vsig vsig multiplied by 478 divided by 478 plus 1k taking this entire thing and put it putting it back here will end up with this vsig 478 478 plus 1k okay now taking this entire thing and putting it back into IC you will end up with the output is equal to the output is equal to minus GM V sig 478 over 478 plus 1k multiplied by RC which is 100 okay so now V output over V input is equal to minus GM multiplied by 478 478 plus 1k multiplied by 100 which will give you as a final answer minus 39.8 volt over volt simple now the last question it looks complicated and it's very lengthy let's see beta is very high meaning it's equal to infinity t model ccs we need to find two things vo1 vo2 divided by bi so let's begin first step kill ac keep dc we need to kill this this becomes short circuit this becomes short circuit uh, sorry this becomes open circuit this becomes open circuit open circuit this one stays stays right okay so the circuit will be like this it's 15 volt right yes 15 15 volt 4.3 kilo ohm Six point eight kilo ohm grounded, and here we have one hundred kilo ohm, and here we have one hundred kilo ohm, fifteen volt. Okay. Next step is to calculate V O. Where's VO? VO is at the collector. This is VE. This is base. If you remember from the previous video, we said whenever you have two resistance in this manner and between them, the rest of the circuit, we have to do what? 7N. Okay? So 7N is simple. We said it's a voltage division and uh, uh, two resistors in parallel. So this is 100k this is 100k grounded grounded this is v7n so v7n is equal to 15 multiplied by 100k over 100k plus 100k 
this will equal to 7.5 volt then finding r7 n 100k 100k this is r7 n r7 n is equal to 100k parallel with 100k which will give us 50 kilo ohm the next step is to redraw the circuit so here we have a 7.5 volt okay 50 kilo ohm and the rest is the same 6.8 kilo ohm 4.3 kilo ohm 15 volt okay what did we say last time what's the next step after 7 and is to do a loop right so kbl minus 7.5 plus 50 k ib plus don't forget this plus bbe plus 6.8 kilo ie equal to zero now 50 kilo ib plus 6.8 k k ie is equal to 7.5 minus 0 0.7 and this will give us 6.6.3 6 i guess it's supposed to be 6.3 anyhow let's see uh, 7.5 minus 0 0.7 6.3 right 7.5 minus 0 0.7 yes 6.3 okay no actually it's not 6.3 it's uh, 6.6 6. So embarrassing. I can't depend on my mind. Six point eight. You can just ignore this part of the video. Anyhow, it's late at night. I need to sleep. Um. Okay. So this is an equation, right? There are two unknowns, I B and I E. Now, what's beta? Beta is infinity. What's the relationship between um, IB and IE? We said IC is equal to beta IB and IC is equal to alpha IE. Now, when beta is infinity, when beta is infinity, it's IC divided by what? Beta, right? Or you can think of it this way. Another, another way, let's see. What's alpha? alpha is 1 1 multiplied by ie so ic is ie right ic is ie this is ie now so here ie is equal to beta ib so ib is ie over beta which is equal to I e over infinity which is equal to zero so i b will be zero so here we're having 6.8 k i e equal to 6.8 which means i e is equal to one milliampere okay if i e is one milliampere then i c is i e which is one milliampere again we are we are in dc analysis so they have to be capital letters okay so i c and i e is one milli ampere next after finding i c we need to do ohm's law i c is equal to 15 minus v naught over 5 4.3 k so it will be i c is equal to 15 minus v naught over 4.3 Okay, so V naught is equal to 15 minus 4.3 K multiplied by IC. 15 minus 4.3 K 
one milli and this will give us 10.7 volt that's all only the only step number two we have we still have till step number six very encouraging huh so step number three is to calculate gm and r pi or r e depending on the model it's t model so let's pick r e r e gm as i c over v t i c is one milli and v t is 25 milli so you will end up with 40 milli ampere over volt r e is equal to alpha over g m which is 1 over 40 milli which is equal to 25 ohm step number four kill ac sorry kill dc keep ac so the circuit will be this will become short circuit short circuit short circuit kill kill okay so it will look like this ground resistance 4.3 kilo ohm here we have is vo1 vo2 and the resistance 6.8 kilo ohm grounded and this here we have 100 kilo ohm then we have another 100 kilo ohm and then we have the vi okay where did these two 100 kilo ohms come from in the original circuit you have 100 kilo ohm here and 100 kilo ohm here this i have flipped it because we have killed the dc source okay so they became two 100 kilo ohms in parallel let's move on okay fifth step is to replace transistor with T model CC CS current control yeah yeah CCC S let's go copy it yeah here copy Let's paste it. Now, at the collector, we have a resistance and uh, and then grounded, four point three kilo ohm ground, and this is the output. Okay. Now, this is a triangle. At the emitter, we have a resistance six point eight kilo ohm. And the ground at the base we have this entire thing so here we have 100 kilo ohm parallel with 100 kilo ohm and then we have this V I okay now what do we need to find we need to find two things V O 1 over V I and V O 2 over VI according to the question VO1 over VI and VO2 over VI Let's begin with VO1 and where's VO1 actually it's VO1 here that's called VO1 Let's do it with purple VO1 and this is VO2 it's here before the 6.8k Let's do VO1 VO1 is equal to minus minus IC RC which is 4.3 K what's IC IC is equal to alpha IE what's IE IE is here we need a relationship between input and uh, we need a relationship between IE and V input now V input is here where's the closest point to VI it's here 
that's all a straight line right so here ie we can say it's vi minus vo2 over re but then it will become complicated what's vo2 a simpler approach is to say ie is equal to vi minus zero over the total resistance re plus 6.8k that's much simpler then you take all of this and put it instead of ie here so this will become alpha vi over re plus 6.8k this is vi okay then the output will become minus alpha vi over re plus 6.8k multiplied by 4.3k so v output over v01 over vi is equal to minus alpha multiplied by 4.3k divided by re plus 6.8k alpha is alpha is 1 and re is 25 so here you have minus 4.3k 25 plus 6.8k and this will give you 0 0.996 v over v now i think it has to be positive did you miss anything no i don't think we missed anything unless we have swapped the one and two did you did i really swap them no actually yes i did vo1 has to be at 6.8k vo2 has to be at 4.3k so this has to be vo2 this has to be vo1 so what we found here we found vo2 actually so vo2 yes indeed it is minus vo2 is indeed and the minus it will be minus zero point i have written the vo2 is minus 0 0.63 okay now finding for vo1 for vo1 vo1 we have to say now oh, vo1 is, is here right we need an equation that relates vo1 with vi so it's just this part it is just this part you can think of it as a voltage division you have a vi here re and then 6.8k so just simply voltage division so what's vo1 vo1 is vi multiplied by 6.8k over 6.8k plus re so vo1 divided by vi is 6.8k divided by 6.8k plus 25 and this will result in 0 0.996 v over v we're done great i hope you understood everything as i said it's very simple but it's lengthy okay so now we have concluded chapter 4 in the next video we'll start chapter 5 which is on mosfets thank you for listening see you later